It's a positive rant. No, you can't. I mean, we've got <laughs> lower humidity, beautiful sunshine going into the weekend. Yeah. The best kind of weather. And uh, everybody think, loves you when the they see year. you out there like, thank you. Yeah. Like you did it. You're yeah, it's great. It's great. Sort um, of the, sort of the uh, retirement plan for the first alert storm team <laughs> office right now. Well, half of us are probably outside enjoying. I know Ben Pine's <laughs> probably out there somewhere outside. As you should. Yeah, I mean, you can't stay indoors when it's this nice out. We have some low humidity temperatures are in the 80s. Nice and perfect for this time of year. So just two days ago, our, tep our dew points were in the 70s, and now our dew point is in the 50s and upper 40s. It feels absolutely great outside, even though it can get a little warm if you're in the direct sunlight. But over the next few hours, temperatures are soon going to cool off into the 70s. We'll still have some clear skies. The perfect kind of setup for a June Friday evening. 82 in Scottsburg, 79 over in Campbellsville. So overnight tonight, uh, temperatures are going to be nice and comfortable. By the time we head towards 8 o'clock for the racing Louisville taking on Houston Dash. It's mild and pleasant 70 degree weather. I highly recommend to head out to Lynn Family Stadium or any of the other events going on on your screen. Rolling on the River Beer Festival. We got the Greek Fest as well as a summer picnic, which is going on right now. 40% chance of scattered showers for your Saturday and 20% on Sunday. So yes, there is a chance for some light rain throughout the day on Saturday, but it's not going to be widespread and it's only going to be for a certain period of time. The rest of the evening, clear skies, temperatures in the low 80s. Waking up tomorrow, we're still going to be dry around 6 o'clock. It's not until lunchtime. Around 11 o'clock, we'll start to see some of that light rain track its way in. Pretty uh, scattered in nature by the time we head towards 1 o'clock. And then into the late afternoon, it's trending on the drier side. In fact, we might even get some sunshine in some spots by the late afternoon. But for the most part, I think it's going to be partly to mostly cloudy throughout your day on Saturday. Now we are tracking more rain. Notice that it's mainly farther south of our area. So Sunday, it's going to be mostly dry. And if you live in Indiana, you have no rain chance in that forecast for you on Sunday. It's mainly going to stay farther to the south around Lunchtown, south of E-Town, some scattered sprinkles. We might not even get anything here in Louisville if it stays true and far to the south. By the time we head towards 5, 6 o'clock, we'll start to see some sunshine back in that forecast. Temperatures will then break into the 80s. So the later in the day on Sunday is that best chance of seeing the most sunshine. So we're in the 80s right now, but we are looking ahead. The Climate Prediction Center really just looks at our big widespread climate patterns and it's settling in of seeing a high pressure, which is a dome of heat typically that we see throughout the summer months. So the end of June, middle to end of June, it is trending above average, especially from Texas to the Central Plains, zooming on in for Indi Indiana and Kentucky. We're likely going to be above average and we're already seeing it on our seven day forecast looking ahead towards the end of next week. That's 88 for Thursday, 91 for Friday. Beautiful sunshine that will come with it, but we're going to start to maybe get some of those heat index values back into that forecast as that moisture comes with that heat. 40% chance into the afternoon of seeing some scattered sprinkles. Then Sunday, not too bad. 20% only for areas south and then 79 sunny next week. Another stretch of some beautiful weather, but we are going to get a tad bit warmer.